God be beyond us and within us and among us and beneath us, that holy presence that animates our very life. We ask that we would take steps towards what is already done in your heart, and that's the healing and wholeness that awaits. That we would take that, even if it's a tiny step, toward love and more love in our lives. That we would be able to let go of some of the hurt or the anger, make a new way. Help us to see each other, to see underneath, beyond the politics, beyond the religion, beyond the familial hurt, beyond any of that. In that place beyond right doing and wrong doing, that is love itself, may we step into that pasture just for a moment. So lead us. We want to do so much to heal our broken world and we must begin with ourselves and our own relationships. Help us to remember the message we heard today. We don't need to exhaust ourselves trying to earn favor or merit. It's really all about grace and all about love. So may we live that. We lift up in love those to you who need your comfort, who need your, to feel your presence. We pray particularly now for Elise Leung, who's in hospice. And in her final days, may she feel surrounded and upheld by this community here and by her family. Continue to give her that profound peace that she has. We pray for Malcolm Jones as he is feeling a little better. God, lift him up. Give him strength. Surround him with love even as he's listening in in this very moment. And anyone else who is on our hearts, we bring to you. We know that you will keep them in your care. So all these prayers and those prayers that we are about to give feet this coming week, we lift together in the prayer that Jesus taught, our God who art in heaven. Him come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory forever.